Hello and thanks for checking out the Mesh Editor program. In this video I'll be discussing the new features and changes that have been made to version 1.4 and there are quite a few of them so I'll be placing some quick links in the description below so that you can quickly jump to the different parts. First thing you'll notice is that we now have two columns instead of the original one. This was done to accommodate the new features as well as move some of the more frequently used features to the front as well as uh, these buttons here for selecting between the unique and coincident vertices and edges as well as front and back facing. And you can toggle those on and off quickly now. One of the new features is the ability to quickly add new perimeters to the scene via the add geometry box here and you can select between the different shapes box, cone, cylinder, isosphere, plane, sphere, teapot, torus and tube and all of these are fully customizable via the interface here. And all you need to do is click on the Add button to add them to the scene. You can also export the current object to the object format via the mesh tools here. program works with both static and skin meshes, but to demonstrate I'll just create a cube here, quickly lock onto it, save it into the project, and just quickly I'll go through the list of the new features. In addition to the other modes, we're now able to individually edit the UV coordinates of the mesh, as well as the normals of the mesh. In addition to splitting triangles, we can now split edges, join vertices, join edges, weld and unweld. This is for vertices, edges and triangles. We can also fill in holes and check for invalid vertices and triangles in the mesh. A much requested feature is the ability to precisely set the position rotation and scale of the selected mode. So if we select vertices here, choose two vertices, and put one in the X direction and click the set button, you'll notice that it quickly and accurately sets those. And we can also move them back just as easily. To demonstrate the features, I'm going to quickly create a couple of submissions on the subject via the mesh tools here. select UV editing and select a couple of vertices here you'll notice that it's selected six vertices rather than the two for this face here. If we turn off coincident you notice it switches back to two and we can easily edit just those two UV coordinates for that face. And you can use Control Z and Control Y to undo or redo all of these actions. We'll just deselect those To edit the normals, switch to modify normals, choose the vertices you want to modify the normals for, and you can move and adjust the normals using the handle that way. To split edges, you can select the edges first, or you can click on split edges and when you do you'll notice a little yellow sphere is shown up and you can click next to that and you can move it to where you want to split the edge and when you click on the tick box here it will split between that point and the opposite edge or if 
you select two sides it will split between the two. You can also select three sides and it will split in a triangle shape like so. And you can undo those with Ctrl Z as well. And when you finish you just click on the cancel button here. Same works with split triangles. Select the triangle you want to split, click on the tick box and it will split it into three separate triangles. When joining vertices the point to remember is that the first one you select will become the target position and all other vertices that you select will be moved to that position when you click on the tick box. I'll just delete a couple of triangles here select this point and then this one will be moved to that point. Same is true when joining edges. The first edge we select will become the target edge. This one will be moved down like so. When using the weld feature, it's important to remember that where there was originally three vertices, there's also three normals, three UV coordinates, and if you weld them together, you're generally not going to get a, a good result. To demonstrate how this works, I'm going to select these two triangles, turn off coincident, just move them out slightly. You notice when I move one of them that the other triangle moves with it, so these two are definitely sharing a ver two vertices here. And if we click on Unweld, we can now select that triangle and move it freely and weld them back together. And they're now joined at these two vertices. To fill in holes in the mesh, if I remove this triangle here, we now have a hole. We can click on fill and select three vertices and click the tick box and the new triangle will be assigned to the first sub mesh in the object. And often when joining vertices or edges you may end up with some triangles which have been reduced to a zero area. And so we click on the, just join these vertices together, and this triangle has now disappeared, it's got zero area. And so we can now click on the check button, and what it will do is remove the invalid vertices or triangles in the mesh. And it's removed two vertices and two triangles and cleaned up the mesh. A few important changes to remember is that when extruding it used to be shift and drag to extrude this triangle, now it's shift and control to extrude. Also when using snap to grid it will only snap in one direction depending on which handle you select. So if we enable that and we want to snap in the X direction here snap to there. And lastly, whenever you've got this pivot point box open, you're in pivot point mode, and you'll notice that there's a little yellow sphere, and you can adjust that using the handles for both movement, as well as rotation of the pivot point before clicking on the update button to change the pivot point whenever you're finished. Simply just close the pivot point box and you'll be out of pivot point edit mode. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy all the new features. Bye for now.